happy retirement. Uh, I'm going to miss you. We're all going to miss you. Um, but most of all, I'm going to miss your bow tie. I know that sounds bad, but um, it takes a brave man to wear a bow tie and to really own it. Um, you've inspired me to wear a bow tie. Um, okay, that's not that part's not true, but the rest of it's true. Um, but uh, in all seriousness, um, I have always appreciated your uh, demeanor and your personality and sort of the way that you kind of keep situations and people around you grounded. Um, never lose your temper. Um, I just always appreciate that and the person when um, they're able to sort of have that cool, collected uh, sort of affect. Um, I know that I could learn a lot from you in that regard. So I um, hope to see you around. hope to uh, drive by Norton Farm and see you out there rocking the bow tie maybe. I don't know. But um, enjoy your retirement, as I said. And um, I'm sure we'll see each other in the future. Bye. Hey, Jamie. I want to congratulate you on your retirement. I know it's been a long time coming and it's well deserved. I know we'll see you again both here on the island, probably up at school for a while. You may want to come back and substitute. Who knows? But again, I want to congratulate you on it. It's been a pleasure to work with you for the last four years. And at least we still have Jonathan, so I'm sure we'll see you on Parents Night. Best to you. Look forward to seeing you again. Hi, Jamie. Um, I wanted to wish you a happy retirement and also thank you so much uh, for all your decades of teaching at MBRHS. Um, I really enjoyed having you as a colleague, but especially having your son Dougie as a student. And um, yeah, he was an amazing presence in my class and you've been an amazing presence in the school. I don't know if you remember, but I was in your math class. I think it was my senior year, maybe my junior year. Um, and I remember having you as a teacher and math was not my thing, um, but my memory of you as a teacher was being so patient um, with students who are struggling with math and just being willing to work through things one-on-one -on -one with all of us revisiting topics that we weren't grasping and just being such a kind and positive presence in the classroom. Um, so thank you for that year of, of math instruction and I will definitely miss seeing your, your smiling face in the hallways. Uh, and I think a lot of students will as well. So take care, happy retirement, and I'm sure I will see you around. Hi, Jenny, it's Chris. Uh, we've been friends for I don't know, 15 years or so. I'm glad to see you uh, get a chance to retire. You've been uh, one of the most patient, thoughtful, kind teachers I've ever met. And uh, and we're going to be less of a math department without you. We'll see you soon at the farm. Bye. Hello, Jamie. I uh, wanted to wish you all the best on your retirement. And um, wanted to uh, say to you that you will truly be missed at the Martha's Vineyard Regional High School. Uh, the quality of you and your entire family is uh, such a blessing to our whole school community. And um, I wish you congratulations and I wish you the best of luck as you move forward. And, um, and I envy, envy you that uh, you have left such a great legacy at the high school. Congratulations again, Jamie. Jamie Norton. I remember the Christmas our youngest daughter insisted that we had to buy Mr. Norton a bow tie. He was one of her favorite teachers, and that's saying a lot from a child that struggled with math. Working with Jamie on math with many of my Compass students has been a pleasure. The man lives in the land of second chances. He truly cares about the students and is willing to go over and above what most teachers are willing to do in order to see that they understand and succeed. Jamie always has the time to talk about a student or give extra help. I know that he is going to enjoy his second career as a full-time farmer, and I am happy to be his neighbor. At the high school, he will be missed. So Jamie, uh, you were one of the first people that uh, sort of took me under your wing when we first came here. Um, I got a job with you at the at your farm and we got all our kids involved too and I got to know your kids there it was just one of the best things that had ever happened 
to our whole family because here we were in a place that we loved. Um, we were growing flowers, we were growing um, vegetables, we were selling vegetables, and it was just one of the best memories I have in those early years. The kids also still talk about when we go by the farm said, oh, I used to work there. Um, so they also have great memories of it too. I also have so many memories of you just walking into my classroom, coming to tell me something, checking in on um, whichever one of your kids that was teaching at the time. Um, and then uh, and, and walking right back out again. So it was just really nice to always have that constant back and forth. We were on the same hallway um, and I, I saw you a lot. So here's Pierre. Hey, bonjour Jimmy. How are you? Okay, just a little quick word here. What I remember about you, many things. Number one, of course, in the morning, you were always my first fresh cup of coffee. I saw you walking down the hall with your coffee and I was jealous because you did not spill. Number one. Number two, at the end of the day, you were also my inspiration as you came to class, giving me a little bit of the news of what happened, what did not happen. So we always had a good laugh at the end of class. So I wish you a happy retirement. Enjoy. And we'll see you at the farm. Yep. I wish you a happy retirement also. And we will definitely see you at the farm. I expect to see that tractor going back and forth and the cows and the sheep. And um, I'll be getting my vegetables there from you and hopefully for a very long time. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Happy -bye. retirement. Hey, Jamie. Just wanted to take time to wish you a happy retirement. Sorry we didn't get to spend the end of the year in the building together. But I know that you will have a wonderful retirement. And I'm sure I'll be seeing you on the sidelines. Take care and have a great summer. Jamie, back in 2009, when I moved back to the vineyard, uh, there were many uh, unfamiliar faces at the high school. Um, but I'll always remember you um, coming to me and, uh, and extending a warm and uh, heartfelt and genuine welcome to me, uh, a welcome back to me, and uh, for being my friend as well as colleague for the past 11 years. Uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed all the times you came into my office, and I can't say that about everybody, um, but um, I've always appreciated um, your, um, your enthusiasm, your insights, um, and, uh, and, uh, I've also, um, really appreciated, um, being in touch with your dad and getting all that, uh, history about the high school. So, um, I'm going to miss you and I'm going to hope that your next phase in life is rewarding. And, um, I hope you have, um, a great next step in your journey. So, um, Thank you and um, for being there and being one of my friends and colleagues and um, best wishes for the future. Hi, Jamie. I just wanted to take a minute and wish you the best. I hope that you enjoy your next chapter in retirement and that all is well. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you. I had a great um, one memory that I wanted to make sure I thanked you for was when we did take the time to go up to Mass General together. And I unfortunately had to have a biopsy that I wasn't prepared for and you were a really great support for me. So thank you. Best of luck. Mr. Norton, we're gonna miss you, bud. Um, in particular, our uh, garden discussions about uh, what the plant, when the planet, uh, how high are your peas, all of that kind of stuff. Um, I wish you luck in the future. Um, I'll certainly be stopping by once uh, everything gets reopened, as in your farm stand, to check on your progress. Um, also, I want to let you know that I started, uh, they're about eight inches high, um, about a dozen gilo eggplants. Gilo, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I remember first finding that at your farm stand, um, and I'm going to give it a try. So I'll let you know what happens. Um, you're probably growing it this year, I'm sure. At least getting it started. Um, anyhow, good luck, man. Um, we'll see you around. Um, take care. Hi, Jamie. I just want to congratulate you on your upcoming retirement. 
Um, from the looks of it, you are going to be very busy um, considering there is so much cleared land for you to now cultivate, uh, which is exciting. I'm just glad that I'll be able to drive by the farm every day and see you out there, which always makes me happy um, that you are doing something you clearly love. Thanks so much for your obvious service to the school and for um, all the ways you uh, served your students uh, and made MBHRS a happy place. Uh, I could always count on a friendly um, hello from you in the hallways and just a overall optimistic and positive outlook. So you will be missed. Hi, Jamie. Congratulations on your retirement. It has been a pleasure working with you and getting to know you and most importantly, getting really great gardening advice from you. Thank you. Um, April 1st, when I put my peas in, I will always think of you. So again, congratulations and have a great retirement. See you on the farm. Hi, Jamie. We've really enjoyed working with you all these years um, and we're going to be missing you next year when you're not there. But we hope you really enjoy your retirement. All right, congratulations. Happy retirement, Jamie. Um, I'm not really sure what to say because I'm gonna be spending the rest of my life with you. So I get to see you every day, unlike all the people who are gonna be saying goodbye on this video. But um, I will say that it has been a pleasure to teach with you and to have, know that you're in the building and know that you're down the hall. And I think one of my favorite memories is when you come in and say hi with your little shy smile and all the kids giggle. And when they leave, they're like, oh, Mr. Norton is so cute. Oh, he loves you so much. So <laughs> I think that you've really made an impression about what marriage is on the kids. <laughs> so, um, I know that you're going to be missed and you were a great teacher for so many years and you deserve to rest and to farm and to do whatever you want to do. So, and I'm happy to be able to, to be with you for that. And I love you, Jamie. Bye-bye. My favorite memory of my dad at the high school was when he, I used to go in early with him and he would have the cool or, and fun strategy or math games available for me to play. And that helped me find my love for math. So when I was trying to think of my favorite memory, I thought it was not a fair question because there's just too many good, awesome memories that I have, especially after so many years. I mean, I've been coming to the high school with you since I was before I could remember. I mean, I remember coming in kindergarten and go into your desk to play with all the puzzles and all the different like things and then you'd give me math problems and we'd do them on the board and it was really awesome. It was just a good time and I'm so happy that you are retiring and that you are happy. It's just perfect. Jamie Norton, I wish you the absolute best as you embark on your next chapter which I'm sure involves um, your beautiful land and farm and family. Uh, we thank you so much for all your years of service to MVRHS students, your knowledge of math, your commitment um, to explaining and helping each and every student understand. Um, you've been a great member of the faculty and I wish you the absolute best in your exciting next chapter. Hey Jamie, congratulations on retiring. Hope you have a great summer. Take care. Jamie Norton, I remember the Christmas, our youngest daughter insisted that we had to buy Mr. Norton a bow tie. He was one of her favorite teachers. And that's saying a lot from a child that struggled with math. Working with Jamie on math with many of my Compass students has been a pleasure. The man lives in the land of second chances. He truly cares about the students and is willing to go over and above what most teachers are willing to do in order to see that they understand and succeed. Jamie always has the time to talk about a student or give extra help. 
I know that he is going to enjoy his second career as a full-time farmer, and I am happy to be his neighbor. At the high school, he will be missed. Hey, Jamie. What can I say? I am really, really, really going to miss you. I mean, you have been the best hallway neighbor. Always willing to check my emails and my thoughts about what I want to do and say and give me really good advice on what to say or especially what not to say. I have definitely enjoyed working with you, working and teaching some of the same classes. It's just been, it's been really valuable and I'm really going to miss you. Um, moments having to do with my silent partner during those meetings when we're just waiting for everybody to finish coming up with their ideas. And then the next thing you know, the meeting's over. But I will surely stop by the stand, run my ideas by you, and just see how you're doing. Hey, Jamie. Just wanted to wish you a happy retirement. Um, it's been great working with you these last five or six years. And um, I just wanted to say that I, I really appreciate um, all the many conversations we've had and, um, and just all your, your wisdom about um, you know, MVRHS and the island and the history of the island and farming. Um, and um, now that the island's uh, autism center is about to open up in a farm in West Tisbury, um, I'm going to be relying on your help again, your advice. So I look forward to talking to you more at your farm and visiting you there. Um, but I really appreciate all the time you spent at the high school and the advice you've given to me over the years. And I wish you all the best. I always love Jamie's bow ties and his smile. Um, he always had a cheerful disposition whenever I saw him and it always brightened his, my day. And definitely his knowledge of island history um, he always asks questions um, about my family who has involved in island history and I always uh, love talking to him about that. Congratulations, Jamie, on a great career. I'm so sad that um, our last quarter of Jamie's career, he was not at school. Um, I'll miss his constant smiling face. I'll miss talking about math with him, especially the freshman math. Um, I'll certainly miss the eggs, although I think I can still get those. Um, and I just think his historical memory of our school and our island um, and what's gone on is so important. Uh, and I so value him sharing all of that. Um, and certainly um, just his spirit and general great attitude all the time. So Jamie, we'll miss you and thank you so much. Jamie Norton, congratulations on your retirement. You will definitely be missed. Over the last two years, it's been really nice working with you and I really appreciate how much you care for your students and you would go the extra mile for those kiddos any day. Um, definitely gonna miss those bow ties. Your sense of style and your presence will be missed in the building. So um, congrats and enjoy your retirement. You've definitely earned it.